What if the Earth is hiding secrets in plain sight? We're talking about scars on its surface so vast and so strange they almost defy explanation. Places that look like they belong on another planet, where the known laws of geology seem to bend and ancient legends start to sound plausible. I'm not talking about ancient ruins, but landforms, bizarre, colossal structures that scientists are still scratching their heads over. From giant towers that shoot out of the ground with no volcano in sight, to massive stone marbles that look like they were left on a beach by mythical gods. Our planet is dotted with formations that challenge everything we think we know. These spots are geological anomalies, puzzles etched into the very crust of the Earth. Today, we're going on a journey to the ends of the globe to check out the world's most mysterious landforms. We'll explore the science, dig into the myths, and face the strange questions that pop up when the planet itself presents a mystery that nobody can quite solve. These bizarre formations might just be proof that our world's history is far weirder than we ever imagined. Our first stop takes us to the wide open plains of northeastern Wyoming, where a geological giant totally dominates the horizon. It's called Devil's Tower, and it is, without a doubt, one of the most puzzling formations on Earth. Rising nearly 1,300 feet over the landscape, this monster of a monolith is made of these incredible, almost perfect hexagonal columns that make it look less like a rock and more like something that was built. For decades, the leading scientific theory was that Devil's Tower is an igneous intrusion, basically the hardened magma core of an ancient volcano whose soft outer layers have been worn away over millions of years. But there's a huge problem with that theory. There is no other evidence of volcanic activity anywhere nearby. No ash, no lava flows, nothing. Just this single lonely giant. So geologists are still debating. Some think it's a stock, a small blob of magma that cooled deep underground and was then uncovered by erosion. Others suggest it's a rare thing called a lacolith, a mushroom-shaped bulge of magma that never actually broke the surface. The uncomfortable truth is the very erosion that gave us this incredible view also wiped away the clues that could tell us for sure what it is. Where science has questions, legends often have answers. For local Native American tribes like the Lakota and Cheyenne, the tower is a sacred place with a powerful origin story. They call it Bear Lodge. The legend says that a group of children were being chased by a giant bear. To save them, the ground shot up into the sky, creating the tower. The bear, desperate to get to them, clawed at the sides, leaving the deep vertical marks we see today. It's a story that feels just as epic as the tower itself, a perfect tribute to a place that continues to inspire awe and defy any easy explanation. Leaving the American plains, we head to the desolate expanse of the Sahara Desert in Mauritania, where we find something so enormous it's best seen from space. It's known as the Rishat structure, or more poetically, the Eye of the Sahara. This thing is a stunning 40 kilometer wide series of almost perfect concentric rings. When astronauts first spotted it from orbit, they figured it had to be a massive impact crater. A direct hit from a giant asteroid would certainly explain the bullseye shape, but detailed studies on the ground found a critical piece of evidence was missing. There's no melted rock or shocked quartz, which are the dead giveaways of a high speed impact. So if it wasn't an asteroid, what on earth could create such a massive and perfectly shaped target? The leading theory today is that the eye is a deeply eroded geological dome. The idea is that volcanic activity deep underground pushed the layers of rock up into a dome millions of years ago. Then over eons, wind and water shaved off the top, exposing the different rock layers that erode at different speeds which created the rings we see today. But even that explanation, as plausible as it is, hasn't stopped the speculation. The sheer perfection and scale of the structure keep it wrapped in mystery. This has led some people to float more unconventional ideas. One of the most famous, though it has zero scientific backing, 
is that the reshot structure is the location of the lost city of Atlantis, which Plato described as being made of concentric rings of land and water. While geologists continue to study the dome theory, the eye of the Sahara remains a mesmerizing anomaly, a giant eye staring out from the desert, holding the secrets of the Earth's deep past in its gaze. Our next mystery brings us to a windswept beach on the coast of New Zealand. Scattered along Koe Kohe Beach are the Moi Rocky boulders, looking like a giant's forgotten set of marbles. These are dozens of huge, almost perfectly spherical stones. Some are up to two meters high and weigh several tons. They're so bizarre and out of place that they almost seem like artifacts from another world. The scientific take on the boulders is that they are concretions. This means they were formed by minerals slowly building up around a central core, kind of like how a pearl forms around a grain of sand. Geologists believe they formed from calcite cementing, mud, sand, and clay on the ancient seafloor more than 60 million years ago. It's estimated that the biggest boulders took as long as 5.5 million years to form while buried under mud. As the coastal cliffs eroded away, these incredibly hard stones were revealed and tumbled down onto the beach. But just like with Devil's Tower, local legends have a much more dramatic origin story. According to Maori legend, these boulders are the leftovers from the wreck of a great voyaging canoe, the Aratauru. The story goes that the canoe capsized nearby and its cargo of gourds, eel baskets, and sweet potatoes washed ashore, turning to stone over the centuries. In fact, other rock formations nearby are said to be the petrified hull of the canoe and the body of its captain. So even with a solid scientific explanation, when you're standing among these massive, smooth spheres, it's hard not to feel the power of the legend and wonder about the strange forces that made them. In the dry grasslands of the Namib Desert, a completely different kind of mystery is laid out across the landscape. For hundreds of miles, the ground is covered in millions of nearly perfect circular barren patches of dirt, each one bordered by a ring of tough grass. These are the fairy circles of Namibia. And for more than 50 years, they've been at the center of one of the hottest debates in ecology. Looking at them from the air, it's a strange sight, a dotted, almost polka dot pattern that stretches as far as you can see. Two main scientific theories have been fighting it out. The first one points the finger at sand termites. Proponents of this idea suggest that termite colonies live under the circles and clear out the vegetation. The second major theory is the self-organization hypothesis, which says the plants themselves create the circles. In the harsh, dry climate, grasses are in a fierce competition for water. This theory suggests that the stronger grasses on the edge of the circle suck up all the water from the center, which causes the plants inside the circle to wither and die, creating the bare patch. Recent studies have found strong evidence for the water stress theory. They showed that grasses planted inside the circles die from a lack of water just days after it rains. And their roots show no sign of being eaten by termites. But the debate is far from settled. Those who back the termite theory point out that termites are found in many of the circles and the mystery of their perfect spacing is still a puzzle. Of course, local Himba legend offers a much simpler explanation. The circles are the footprints of their original god, Mukuru. Whatever their true origin, the fairy circles are a stunning example of nature's ability to create patterns that are as beautiful as they are baffling. Our final mystery is the biggest one of all, a feature so huge you can really only grasp it by looking at a map of a whole continent. Along the southeastern shore of Canada's Hudson Bay, you'll find the Nastapoka Arc a nearly perfect curved coastline that stretches for hundreds of kilometers. The curve is so precise, it looks like it's part of a circle that would be 450 kilometers across. When this feature was first seriously looked at, the obvious conclusion was that it must be the rim of a gigantic ancient impact crater, one of the largest on Earth. A crater that big would be similar to the great craters on the moon. 
But just like with the Eye of the Sahara, geologists who went looking for proof came back empty-handed. Field studies in the 1970s found none of the usual signs of an impact, like shocked quartz or melted rocks. So what else could possibly form such a perfect continent-sized arc? The leading geological theory today is that the arc is a tectonic feature. It's thought to have formed about two billion years ago when a continental collision created a mountain range. The idea is that the crust buckled and folded in a process called lithospheric flexure, creating this massive curved boundary between two ancient rock formations. But circular tectonic boundaries are extremely rare, and this explanation doesn't completely satisfy everyone, which keeps the debate going. The Nastapoca arc remains a planetary scale puzzle, a smooth, elegant curve that hints at unimaginable forces, either from space or from deep within the Earth, that shaped our world billions of years ago. From giant towers to planetary arcs, these landforms prove we still have so much to learn about our own world. It seems like every mystery we solve just leads to more questions. What do you think is the most believable explanation for these formations? And are there any other mysterious places you think we should investigate next? Let us know down in the comments. Our journey has taken us to some of the most perplexing and awe-inspiring landscapes on the planet. We've seen how Devil's Tower bursts from the Earth, how the eye of the Sahara stares out into space, and how the Moiraki boulders lie like ancient artifacts on a lonely beach. These places are more than just geological oddities. They're a powerful reminder that our planet is an active, dynamic, and deeply mysterious place. They are the crossroads where science, myth, and our own curiosity meet. They challenge our understanding and fire up our imagination, proving that there are still incredible secrets waiting to be discovered right here on planet Earth. Thanks for joining us on this expedition. If you enjoyed this trip into the unknown, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more explorations into the world's greatest mysteries.